If you're 3D printing things that need to fit together and they come out too tight or too loose and you need them to be just right, there's a setting in the slicer to help you fix that. I'll explain it all on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. Whether you print on a high-speed, high-cost printer or a low-speed, low-cost printer, you still want your prints to come out just right. Now, there's a good chance you don't own the design. You downloaded it. And on their printer, it works just right. But on yours, it comes out tight or loose. And your printer may be dialed in. You printed a million chip cubes and got everything adjusted so you're getting perfect prints. Doesn't mean the designer did. Now, sometimes it can be as simple as upsizing or downsizing a part by a percentage and make it 102% bigger or 98% of its original size. But when you have parts like this where they got to fit together and just the hole is too tight, now you need a different setting in the slicer. For example, in a case like this vise, where that gear that was either too small or too big is printed, it fits into a slot. So you can't go too thick, that's the Z direction. And you can't go too large a diameter, that's the X and Y direction. So really, all you want is the inner hole to get bigger. There's a setting for that, but not in all slicers. Most of the slicers I've used on the channel for machines like this are based on Cura. And Cura actually has a whole compensation setting. Now Bamboo Studio, the slicer for the X1 Carbon, it has what's called an XY hole compensation setting. It does the same thing. And it's based on the Prusa slicer. But interestingly, the Prusa slicer doesn't have a hole compensation setting. In fact, the Creality K1 has its own slicer, Creality Print, and it doesn't have a hole compensation setting. And it's based on the Cura slicer which I said already has it. So not only are there different names for this setting, which makes it hard to find and very confusing, some slicers just don't have it, like I mentioned. And when you're doing practical prints and you really need things to fit together and making the hole slightly larger or smaller, it's one of those settings that I can't live without. It's still one of the reasons I use Cura Slicer with most of my machines, not to mention I've got a bunch of profiles developed. But I do use Prusa Slicer from time to time, so this is something I hope they add soon. In a previous video, I showed how you can hack the Bamboo Studio to export a G-code file that'll work in the K1. That could get you the XY hole compensation if you need it for this machine. Another option is to use my profiles and the Cura Slicer and export the G-code file like it's an Ender 3. This is the same size bed and it'll print. I've tried it. I can print my profiles on this machine. The only difference is I can't get the high speed. There's something that Creality Print is doing to get higher speed because even if I bump the speed on my profiles for a machine like this, it still doesn't print as fast as Creality Print. I'm digging into that to try to figure it out because if I can figure that out, then I can just use my profiles on here. In Cura, it's called the Whole Horizontal Expansion. And you can just search on Whole and it'll show up. And if you make it a positive number, the hole will get bigger. If you make it a negative number, the hole will get smaller. In Bamboo Studio, it's called the XY Hole Compensation. And it's the same thing. Make the number positive, it gets bigger. Make it negative and the hole gets smaller. So that one setting and certain slicers can help you get that perfect fit on your practical print. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way, or a membership at things.com. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.